guys. I just wanted to make sure that I give you some instructions on our newest assignment. It hasn't popped up yet. It will in a moment. My goal was to give you as much possible time as I can for completing the assignment because I know we're about to go into winter break and some of you guys like to get a head start. Some of you guys don't and that is OK. But what I have here is called extreme weather. There is a PowerPoint that you're going to work on and then there's reading that goes along with it. I will show you the PowerPoint first just so you guys get a quick look at what is expected. It looks kind of crazy, but your job will be to fill in the blanks with the um, words over here in the word bank. You're going to understand this a lot better, obviously, after you do the reading, but it says weather describes the blank at a certain time and place. So some of these you should be able to answer just from what we know from before. Wind blank types of clouds and blank are things that affect the weather. A weather hazard is a blank weather system that threatens to hurt blank animals or buildings. A blank forms when warm, moist air rises and falls quickly many times. Uh, the water vapor in the unstable air mass forms big blank. The fast moving air creates lightning and blank. To stay safe during a thunderstorm, people should stay away from things that could attract lightning, such as tall blank and open water outside. They should avoid things indoors that conduct electricity, such as blank, blank, appliances, and metal objects. A blank is a fast spinning column of air that reaches from a thunderstorm cloud to the ground. It can reach speeds of up to blank miles per hour. To stay safe, people should hide in blank away from windows. Hurricanes form when an air mass picks up blank and energy from warm ocean water. When they come on land, hurricanes bring heavy rain and blank as well as storm surges. To stay safe, people should leave blank areas or stay safely inside. A blank is a cold winter storm that brings huge amounts of snow and wind. It lasts between blank hours and several weeks. People should be prepared by keeping extra blankets, blank, a cell phone and blank in their car and home, as well as a way to keep blank if the power goes out. So I know I read that very quickly, but I just wanted you to have heard it completely first and then realize the word bank over here. You're you can copy and paste if you want. That can be tricky. So these are just words that you're going to want to see if they fit in certain places. So three. What I would do if I was totally lost, I could say weather describes three at a certain time and place. No weather describes 300 air temperature. Maybe basement. No blizzard. No clouds. No dangerous electrical flashlights food heat no low lying no outside conditions ooh that sounds familiar people precipitation thunder thunderstorm tornado trees warm water or wind ooh for that one i would have to say outside conditions and so as you can see it's already a little crowded as it is so you can just um, backspace uh, go out Condition. So that is all you have to do for this, and then you might want to delete that or put a line through it or something to show that you've already used that one, and you just keep going. If this was totally confusing to you, then that means, aha, we should go and read the PowerPoint. At this point, if you feel confident and you can read, sorry, not the PowerPoint, the PDF, if you feel confident in reading it yourself, you are welcome to do that. If not, hang back. I'm going to read this these next two pages two, or sorry two and a half pages and um, these are the same responses from the other one um, but otherwise you're welcome to go if you feel confident I'm going to start reading this right now so let me zoom so I can read it a little easier so what is weather weather describes the outside conditions at a certain time ooh that was my answer before and place wind air temperature types of clouds and precipitation such as rain snow hail and sleet are the things that affect weather. Since the Earth is a sphere, the sun heats the Earth unevenly. Sunlight hits regions at the equator directly, which is why it is always warm at the equator. So remember those tropical places near the middle. Uh, it's sun, or sorry, the sun's rays hit the regions at the poles at an angle, which is why it is much colder in the Arctic and Antarctic. For this reason, air masses in different places have different types of weather conditions. 
As these air masses move, they cause changes in the weather. What is extreme weather? Most of the weather on Earth is rather mild. The temperature may be warm or cool. There may be some wind and there may be rain, snow or fog. However, weather can become much more extreme causing a weather hazard. A weather hazard is a dangerous weather system that threatens to hurt people, animals or buildings. So that was in those questions as well. That's why I love reading them ahead of time. Thunderstorms, and if you guys look, what I love that these ones have, thunderstorms, tornadoes, hurricanes, they are underlined, blizzards. So any, if you get stuck and you're like, oh, I know which hazard it is, then you can actually just look on the PDF and find it because it's already been uh, labeled a little for you. So thunderstorms, a thunderstorm forms when warm, moist air rises and falls quickly many times. Ooh, we heard that. The water vapor in the unstable air mass forms big clouds. The fast moving air creates static electricity, which becomes lightning. Lightning, ooh, you guys know static electricity, like when you go across the carpet and you shock things, it's the same. Lightning is when an electrical bolt moves from one cloud to another cloud or to the ground. Thunder is the sound that is made from the lightning bolt. Thunderstorm clouds can form hail, which can be large enough to damage buildings, cars, and even people and animals. Lightning can kill people or animals, start forest fires, and destroy buildings, so they can be pretty dangerous. In order to stay safe during a thunderstorm, it is important to stay away from tall trees, metal objects, and open water. That was in there as well. Living things in open water are great conductors of electricity. Tall conductors such as trees and metal poles attract the most lightning. Stay inside a building and avoid conductors of electricity such as metal, water, and electrical appliance. Most buildings have long lighting rods placed on their roofs. These metal rods are the tallest part of the building, so they attract lightning. They are connected to a thick wire buried in the ground. When lightning strikes the building, it hits the lightning rod and the current flows into the ground. This helps avoid harm to the building. We don't have that luxury on our bodies, so try not to be the tallest thing outside. <laughs> Tornadoes. A tornado is a fast spinning column of air that reaches from a thunderstorm cloud to the ground. They reach speeds of up to 300 miles per hour. Uh, just to compare that, the freeway, you're supposed to drive like 70 miles an hour. So this is much, much faster. The biggest tornadoes can pick up and destroy almost anything in their path, including buildings, cars, and trees. They're able to travel up to 50 miles on the ground before they stop. Most of the world's tornadoes happen during the warm spring and summer months in the southern and midwestern United States. In order to stay safe during tornadoes, it's important to stay inside. The best place to be in is a basement. If there is no basement, find an inside room and stay away from windows. If you're outside, lie it down flat on the lowest area you can find, such as a ditch or like a hole in the ground. In areas where tornadoes are likely, builders make sure buildings and roofs are strong and sturdy. Shelters are dug underground, making a place where people can flee when there are tornado warnings. I had lots of students ask about that. We don't have very many around here and they don't get big, but places where they do have tornadoes, they a lot of them have like a bunker. The safest to, oh sorry, at up to 600 miles across, hurricanes are some of the largest storms on earth. Also called cyclones or typhoons, hurricanes have wind speeds from 75 to 200 miles per hour. Hurricanes can form when an air mass begins spiraling, spiraling over warm ocean water. As this air mass picks up heat and energy from the warm water, it begins to swirl faster and faster toward land. When hurricanes come on land, they bring heavy rain, wind, and storm surges. A storm surge is when the hurricane pushes a wall of ocean water on the coast. Major flooding can happen with a storm surge. The safest thing to do when a hurricane warning has been given is to leave low lying areas until the hurricane has passed. So where a tornado you want to be low, for a hurricane you don't want to be low. Uh, windows should be boarded up and loose items brought inside. In areas where hurricanes can happen, homes and buildings are built stronger. Some homes have special storm shutters that can be locked over windows. These shutters protect windows from objects being thrown by hurricane winds because that broken glass can be so super dangerous. All right, blizzards. A blizzard is a cold winter storm that brings huge amounts of snow and wind. Blizzards form when cold, dry air from the north meets warm, moist air from the south. The warm air masses rise over the cold air mass. 
Water vapor from the warm air mass fills the clouds with ice, and ice falls from the sky as snow. Blizzards last for three hours to several weeks. With strong winds and heavy snow, blizzards can create whiteout situations. This is when the blowing snow is so intense that it's difficult to see very far. Driving and even walking around can be dangerous. Power often goes out during blizzards and entire cities can be shut down. So we haven't really seen this here. We've had uh, snow days at school, but never a whiteout. Uh, people who live in areas where blizzards happen should always be prepared for them. During winter, they should keep extra blankets, flashlights, a cell phone, and food in their cars and homes. It's a good idea to have a wood stove or a gas heater in the home if the power goes out. People should avoid trying to walk outside during a blizzard as the blowing snow makes it difficult to see even those things that are close by. And that is where it brings you to the questions. You can't edit them on this sheet because it's a PDF, but it's just to show you what it should look like. Uh, and then you can go back and answer the questions by filling in the blanks on the PowerPoint. As always, you guys, if you have any questions, you know where to find me. I will get to you as soon as I can. And this should be our last official assignment before winter break. So I wanted to give it to you now just in case you are one of those friends who wants to get it done. All right, I'll see you soon. Bye.